Think you need weights or workout equipment to do strength training? Did you know it's possible to use a door, a table, even a coat closet as equipment instead? I'm in a hotel right now and I'm going to show you some simple yet powerful hacks to create a full body strength training workout without using weights or regular workout equipment. By the way, make sure you stick around till the end as I'll share a tip to make this workout even tougher, maybe even double as tough at the end of this video. First off, let's start with a pull exercise called Australian pull-ups. You'll need a sturdy table for this exercise. This is how I did it. I scooched myself under the table, grabbed the edge with both my hands, I made sure my body was tight and straight and pulled myself up. It's pretty straightforward. Next up, push-ups. They can be done on the floor like regular push-ups or using a chair to do elevated push-ups, which is a tougher exercise. Now, this next one is special. Pull exercises is not easy to do without equipment, so we gotta be creative. In this hotel, there is a very sturdy bar in the closet for hanging coats, so I managed to do some chin-ups on that one. For anyone attempting something like this, however, <laughs> please make sure the bar is super sturdy. Another possibility for those that don't have a closet with a sturdy bar like this one is to do pull-ups on a door. This though requires a very sturdy door, so <laughs> please, before attempting anything like this, make sure it's not going to fall apart. I used a towel on top of the door to make it more comfortable for my hands. Since the ceiling was so low, I couldn't pull all the way up to the top because I kept hitting my head. And in this situation, it's important not to change my posture, like trying to tilt my head so I can pull further up because that could very easily result in an injury because it would not be a natural movement. Now we'll get to some leg and ab workout shortly. The first, if the pull-ups on the door is not a possibility, this next one might be, though again, it requires a very sturdy door. It's another type of pull exercise. I use a towel so that I can lean further back away from the door and while keeping my body as straight as possible, I pull myself towards the door. Using a towel makes it possible to be further away from the door with my arms, which makes it the exercise more difficult. And stepping further in with my legs also makes it more difficult because it makes my body more horizontal. By the way, please take a moment to click that subscribe button and turn on notifications to follow my channel. And also remember to follow me on Instagram at Vikingingen. Now let's work on those legs with an exercise we can basically do anywhere. Jumping squats. I'm going to use the sofa here so I can jump on top of something. This can get pretty tiring very fast. I'm not going into a deep squat here, even though that would make it a lot tougher. I'll share why shortly. Now, if you're up for some more leg workout, I did some pistol squats. I usually don't do this, so I'm not very good at it and my balance is a bit off. Though I just wanted to include it as it's a great way to do those to work out those legs without access to any equipment. The reason I don't usually do this is because I have some issues with one of my knees, so it's not a good idea for me to go that deep with my right leg, especially if I can get a bit wobbly. So an alternative is simply 
only go down to about 90 degrees which is much more comfortable for the knees and if necessary also hold on to something to keep the balance. Now let's finish off with a couple of ab exercises. Like for instance some leg raises on the floor and making sure to not rest too much at the top or nor the bottom here. To make it more a bit more difficult we can also lift our booty at the top. Uh, though to make it tough it's important to lift when our legs are as vertical as possible rather than too far back as that makes it much easier and uh, we may end up not working our abs as much as we would like. Now, since I have that sturdy door, it's also possible for me to do some leg raises on the door. This is a bit tricky though, because it's super easy for the door to start moving when I raise and lower my legs. And uh, very easy for my fingers to get pinched that way. So I had to do it very controlled. Here's a couple of great tips for the workout. To make this workout even tougher, do some push-ups right after every, every of the other exercises without resting. That's what we call a superset. For instance, do the Australian pull-ups and right after without resting, do a set of push-ups. Then rest for just a few minutes before doing, for instance, the chin-ups and then the push-ups right after again without resting. Then again, rest a short while before the next exercise, etc. Now, when it comes to the number of repetitions, I'm not sharing the number of reps that I did for this workout because it should always be according to your own abilities. To get the most out of the workout, it's important to do enough reps until you basically cannot do anymore. Maybe one to two reps less than your absolute maximum because pushing to the absolute max can be counterproductive. And uh, that's pretty much it. That was tough. You might not be able to use all the things that I just showed you, though hopefully it gives you some inspiration to just get creative whenever you don't have the equipment that you're used to. And just as a final note, if you're looking to lose weight using tools based on science, a good place to start is to download my free guide called Hack Away Out of Three Weight Loss Mistakes Almost Everyone Makes. You can download it for free at vikingingun.com right now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, a heart or a like, depending on where you're watching from, and I'll see you in the next video.